वेलकम बैक टू द लेक्चर टू ऑफ रिग्रेशन क्लासिफिकेशन कोर्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ और आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ थ्री डायमेंशन हिस्टोग्राम लुक्स लाइक सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर द थ्री डी प्लॉट प्लॉट थ्री डी एंड देन we are going to consider the empty curves data set and now if you draw the scatter plots of say uh, horsepower versus miles per gallon and kpc h to 20 so on the x axis we are drawing the horsepower on the y axis we are drawing the miles per gallon and we would like to draw histogram for horsepower we would like to draw histogram for the miles per gallon and then we want to draw a joint histogram which will be a 3d histogram for join a uh, horsepower and miles per gallon together so drawing a histogram for horsepower is pretty straightforward if you just say hist so it will draw a histogram for the horsepower similarly you can draw a histogram for miles per gallon you can choose maybe a slightly different color maybe blue and so this is a uh, miles per gallon now what i am going to do i am going to first draw a joint table so first you have to do a cut say cut hp with maybe 6 so now it will give me all the variables values which are between these different cuts and if i just do a table of hpc this will give me the frequency distribution of horsepower between the variables now similarly we can do a miles per gallon cut cut uh mpg again with 6 and again if we do a table of Right. So this will give us our my frequency table of miles per gallon. So if you just transpose it, okay. hmm. now now we can join create a joint table of horsepower versus miles per gallon. so this gives us a joint table of horsepower versus miles per gallon and let's call it pavl plot 3d is to run Um, 
z equal to we have to just say table and if we just so this is our 3d histogram but we have to say which is what so we have to say x lab equal to hospital y lab is minus per gallon and z lab is equal to gives you an idea about the joint distribution of miles per gallon and horsepower so that's how we are going to draw the you get a sense of what is the joint distribution of uh, two variables and now we are going back to theory about how to what is the regression line from a joint distribution.